Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and we're jumping right back into War in the East 2 on Good Friday. It's always a good Friday when you don't have to work, and you can stream Gary Grigsby games, which seems to be my plan uh, today. And so, we're going to get back out on the Eastern Front here, but before we do... Of course, I want to just kind of look at a big topic. Uh, now, a lot of this will be covered in the tutorial eventually. Um, but, you know, as we're going through the game and I learn certain things and maybe it changes the way I'm looking at, at the way we do certain things, uh, I like to just cover that. And uh, first of all, though, we have some business that we've got to attend to. And what is that business? Well, every time after a turn or after I turn off the stream, I go back and just kind of look at what's going on. And I, th I thought, last time I thought, here in the center, you know, second Panzer's doing great, third Panzer's doing great, moving through here. I thought, you know, it's so weird. We've got this big gap here. That would not be normal for playing, but I thought maybe it was just a difference in the game. So I went back and looked and I said, did I, is there something I didn't move? Is there something I'm not accounting for? And it was true. We have these two divisions of Ninth Army back here. Now, eventually we would have caught that, I think, because at the end of the turn, I look at the commander's report. I see anything that maybe has movement points left or a lot of them. Um, or something that's out of command. Now, these are not out of command right now, so it wouldn't have, that would not have alerted me to it. But two divisions, both having 13 movement points, I think would have. Um, but these are perfect. These are right where we have this gap in the line. Now, you know, these Soviet forces aren't going anywhere. We've got all of Ninth Army coming up this rail line here. Uh, but this is good. This is good. We, I wanted something up here into this breach and I was looking around, and I was thinking, what in the world is going on? But we're going to move these two up here, and this really covers this line, and it also gives us this air base if the game wants to use it as an air base. And we can now move its headquarters up here. Uh, where are we going to put it? Uh, we could put it here. We could put it there. Why don't we just put it in those woods for right now? It makes a nice big loop around, ends up in the woods. It's still in command, 14 of 15, back here to 9th Army. That works for me, and uh, that's nice. I wanted to have something here because we're kind of going around all of this, and I didn't want this to shoot the gap, <clears throat> get down in there, and uh, mess around with supply or anything else. So uh, excellent, excellent that we had those two. But we also have one more unit that has not been moved. And I, again, I was just looking at this whole sector and I was like, I feel like I'm, I don't have everything that I usually would. And sure enough, 20th Panzer Division has not yet moved. And that's wonderful because look at this. We can go cut this rail. If they tried to get out of Viteps this way by rail, which often the game will do uh, with all of these units around Viteps, they'll just jump on the rail and then get the heck out of here to Vileki Luki or even further north. Um, but now we can come up here and take care of this, I do believe. Let's see how far we want to go. Let's start right there. Um, hey, we've captured another depot. And now it's five of five. It could go one more, though, and that's really where I want it to go. Or maybe here. Which way? Which way? I think we'll go here. And that, you know, <clears throat> completely disrupts any Soviet rail trying to go this way. We've already got it disrupted coming out this way. They've got no other rail left. I mean, this is, what, like a little minor rail? Is that what that is? Is that rail or road? Yeah, that's minor rail that they do have coming here, but it stops right here. And so we've kind of cut off all of their potential uh, retreats out of there. Now, which core is this part of? It's part of 57 motorized. Let's find 57 motorized and let's move it up one hex. So that is now in command and it's sitting right on the rail. 
and it's you know within two of this panzer division nothing doing there they can't get through there that's just great stuff god that makes me happy <laughs> so anyway looking good there i almost wouldn't have minded coming here first and then back down here can i do that i've got four left i don't want to make too big of a gap mm. moving into the wood i kind of wish i would have gone around this way now so but now we've disrupted this rail too because we're next to it um okay well whatever it's fine uh i'm just glad we've got that unit <clears throat> that could have done that and I so I had gone back and looked at all these and I thought I think I gotta have something else that could move and sure enough we had these two divisions this panzer division sometimes when I'm streaming the mind or the the lips are talking the mind is walking and I just hadn't noticed that before so that's all great and we're set up really well in the center right now for our eventual push to Moscow but I have a caveat to that and that is one other thing I was looking at here, and let's go to the turn summary, all right? And let's also go to, uh, well, we'll come back to this victory screen in a minute. Let's go to uh, victory locations out here on the map. So there we go. Okay, and let's back up. Let's back up, because this is different in the War in the East too, and it's something we haven't really covered that much. Uh, but the way that this works now, I really like. I think it's much better, and I think it'll it'll lead to better games, uh, especially with humans, because you have a lot more to take into account now. So what are you seeing out here on the map? When you bring up victory locations, well, you get that part, right? These are the places you're trying to take. Uh, but the first number here is the ultimate, how much is that victory location worth? Okay, so if you're holding it, how much is that worth? Well, in this case, Leningrad's worth 30, Moscow is worth 60, but what I did want to point out is places like Kalinin uh, here are worth 10, uh, Tambo, or Tambov, I'm sorry, is worth 10, Boronez is worth 10. Some of these places we were thinking about not even bothering with, Kharkov, Kursk, they're worth 10 as well. Uh, you get out here to the east, Stalingrad, 30, Saratov, 30, Astrakhan, 30. I mean, they make it really worth your while to keep going out here uh, for those points. Now, you may say, well, what's the second point uh, number here? This is really cool. I, I like that they've done this. And this goes back to um, the historical dates that the cities were captured. And so let's just go down to Smolensk, all right? And if we get down here to Smolensk, you see that the Axis captured that on July 16th, 1941. Okay, it's already July 6th. And so this turn and the next turn, really next turn is when we're supposed to be capturing it by a historical lens, right? For every turn that you capture this city before the Axis actually did, you get bonus points. Now that is plus four if we would have gotten it this turn. And that's what that's showing you if we back up again, is if you capture this city, like Peskov here, if we would capture it this turn, we would get plus three bonus points for capturing it before the Axis actually did. And that's all determined by these historical rates. So we'll go down to Oral here. Um, and in Oral, that was captured October 3rd, 1941. So every turn before that, that we capture it, we actually get bonus points above and beyond the 10 for just capturing it, all right? And you may say, well, how does this kind of all work together? Well, that is this Axis initiative and the score box here. There is now something called initiative. And essentially the Axis is on the initiative and think of it as like on the offensive, through at least October of 1942, all right? And so you're on the initiative through October of 1942, and you have to get at least this uh, low point right here. You have to get this many points, 525, by then not to get a sudden loss, okay? Or if you get 700 by then, you get a sudden victory. All right, and that's from all taking these cities and getting bonuses and whatnot. 
Then whatever your high point is, so let's just say our high point is 650. That's our high point. After October of 42, the minute as the axis, we slip 10% lower than our high point, and it's gonna show us this on the, it shows us right now, high point and the actual number of points we have right now, 410. So let's say our high point was 650. The minute we lose 65 points, right, and we get back to 585 after October of 42, the Soviets then have the initiative and the Soviets start building up points by taking things back before they would have historically to get bonus points or just to take them back in general to build up their overall points. And so you're on the initiative really through October of 42. You're trying to build up as many points as you can. You try to get that as high as you can and you can get a sudden victory if we take Leningrad, Moscow and Rostov, I think before then um, we probably would or we'd be close anyway. Um, they may make it, I, I haven't played it all the way out to that point, but they may make it where you need to get another one of those 30 point cities like Stalingrad, and then you've got a sudden victory. But the minute you start to lose cities and lose points and you fall 10% or more below your high water mark, then the Soviets get the initiative and they start building points in the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, SMG strategy gaming has a question he says hello sir well hello to you sir i appreciate you stopping by you're a new name to me and i always like that i like to see new people jumping into the chat uh asking questions are you planning to record a second tutorial for war in the west yes i will be doing a complete full tutorial for war in the west uh, i switched over to war in the east too just because it's a new game people are so you know interested in learning the air war they're very mr hutter hello I don't think I said hi to you on the Pacific one. Sorry, I saw that, and then I started, you know, my lips started flapping, and I think I forgot to say hello to you. Good evening, and thank you for stopping by. Um, yes, so War in the West, I will do a complete full tutorial. It is enough different, and some people just like the Western Front. They would rather play that game, and so I'm going to do a full tutorial that is very much like the War in the East 2 tutorial. Uh, and I will complete that. And there are some different things, like obviously there's more of a focus on amphibious headquarters and amphibious landings in War in the West that you don't really have in this game. Now, the Axis doesn't have it at all. The Soviets can do an amphibious landing, uh, and they do have amphibious headquarters later on, uh, but as an Axis player, you don't even have that capability. You don't even have an amphibious headquarters to do amphibious landings. That's a Soviet only thing. And so, uh, but in war in the West, it's obviously very important if you're playing the allies and uh, we will cover that extensively. We'll also cover the air war over there because it's just as confusing <laughs> as the air war over here. Now, if you didn't catch it, I put out the first tutorial for the air war yesterday for this game. It's all about how to do it with AI assistance with full, what's called quote unquote, full AI control. There are still eight things that you need to put in, seven or eight, depending on how you count them, uh, that you need to input either at the um, Luftflotte level, the Fliegerkor level, or even down at uh, the air operational group level uh, that, you know, you can put those eight different things in at different levels. Um, but it's actually quite simple. And I think that if you go through that tutorial, it'll make sense to you if the first few times you just want the computer to control, you know, uh, the reassignments, the airfields, the, um, the actual air directives. If you want the game to do all of that, I think that that tutorial will really help you. And it's a building base. It's building blocks to then build up to how to do it manually. And we'll be getting into that when I make the next video uh, that hopefully will go up today. It may slip to tomorrow. We'll see. I, I'm going to try to get it up today, but I'm trying to stream a lot today if I can as well. Uh, I do have a stream coming up for Warhammer 40k Battle Sector uh, that will be coming up next. 
that is not going to be in depth or anything else. That's going to be showing you the game, what it looks like, what the different units look like, uh, kind of just the the aesthetics of the game, if you will. Really excited to put that up. Uh, I know there are a lot of Warhammer 40k fans out there, and if you know nothing about Warhammer 40k, it still looks really cool, and you can blow up bugs and stuff, and so it's a turn-based tactical game uh, that's very much like Field of Glory Medieval 2, or Field of Glory 2 for that matter, except it's set way in the future with uh, a lot cooler things that you can use, you know, you can like bring down, you know, magnetic storms and blow things up and whatnot so hey hello in holland the dutch are being represented hello andre thank you for stopping by uh okay so let's get into the game i just wanted to cover those victory point ideas because um that is different and it may oh the reason i really kind of wanted to bring that up it may change our strategy a little bit now my strategy is always sort of to blow through here and take Stalino and Rostov because they're so important for Soviet production. But I kind of forget about Kharkov, Kursk, Voronezh, uh, Oral. I, I, I don't really, or Tula sometimes I won't even take, or any of these. But now you can see, I mean, if you added all these together, hell, that's like 60 points. And if we took it uh, historically faster than the Axis actually did, I mean, you could be talking about 80 points, um, you know, 70 or 80 points. That's a lot, you know, and I never go for Stalingrad, for instance. Well, you know, the Axis actually never took it, so I don't know how they're going to figure those bonus points out. But anyway, um, as a matter of fact, let's just go out here by Stalingrad and see when they say, I guess that they claim that they did sort of take it, uh, November 11th of 42, and as you can see, it tr it changed hands, uh, you know, outside here, whatever this little town is, August 25th, November 11th, Stalingrad, Soviets took it back February 2nd of 43, uh, but it may be worth actually going out there to get 30 points. And if we can take that, we could almost certainly get down the river here and take Astrakhan. So that's like 60 points, you know. Uh, it may change our strategy. Now, that's way in the future, but what I'm really thinking about is all of these out in the middle that give you points that I kind of don't worry about. I head to here, you know, I head to here, and I head up there. I don't worry about this middle part of the map. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do that this time. So let's take those off, and let's get down here by 6th Army. We are now in the south, now that we've moved the... Uh, remnants of army group center and let's start moving these around and we've moved all of that stuff up there can we move this guy at all no not this guy either okay so i'm having them kind of come out in the swamp here uh they will be removed on turn seven so we're in turn three they can get out here maybe and kind of see what the soviet make sure the soviets are just lurking in the swamps uh but let's get right into sixth army this is, uh, okay, we've got this broken down into three parts of the division. We may want to put that back at some point, but we've got a lot of territory to cover here. So let's actually move down on this rail line and take these hexes and start to open this up a little bit. Um, I guess we'll just put it here. That's good. And then we'll move these guys up here. And I am going to start really trying to get more and more things at the headquarters level. I think I say things, uh, support units. Uh, I really think that the way this game is structured now, you kind of got to start putting support units in at the core level, which was maybe the point and is maybe why they have done things the way they've done them now. All right. So we've got this moving. Now it's got more things. Uh, that we can move here. That can't. That was stuck here. All right. Uh, I kind of wish I would have cleared these three off. Maybe I moved a little fast there. Uh, I can't undo it. So it is what it is. Um, we should take these when it comes over our turn. But I would like to get this rail line from Brest opened up uh, eventually. 
eventually to come down here. Now, my secondary railroad construction should do that automatically, uh, but I would like to get that rail line just so we can get supplied for 6th Army through Brest-Litovsk, which is co directly connected back to Germany. And so that could be helpful. Now then, look at this, this defensive force here. That's a 41. We're going to go around that. Uh, there's just absolutely no reason to mess with that. And so we're going to start going around it. That's going to cost us a lot of points, unfortunately. Uh, but we are going to go around it. And eventually we're going to bring 1st Panzer up here and try to re-encircle these troops. Um, now then, how far up here do I want to take these guys? I think I will take them all the way. Oh, there's a unit there. Hello. How are you? Uh, okay, let's move the headquarters up one, maybe two, um, and let's start putting and attaching some support units. Now, he's already got a few. Well, they're just pioneering construction. Okay, so let's go out here and get some artillery. We'll get, uh, you know, heavy howitzer, heavy cannon, mixed artillery, uh, maybe a gun battalion. We don't want to use them all up here, but we've got a lot of artillery uh, just in general. I don't think we need any of this stuff. Let's do Army Light Flak Battalion. And then let's get down here and give it also a motorized mixed flak battalion so that it's a little anti-tank. And actually, this one will give one of the stugs. Uh, we'll start trying to put those into infantry units as well. Construction, warfers. Eh, we got a lot of war first. Let's put a rocket in there. Um, machine gun? Nah, no big deal. All right, and we're going to lock this. So he's locked. He's got those units. I like it. Let's do a deliberate attack here. He will get support units, or he should. And he did, and he knocked that back. So that's good. Can we move into there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, but that's fine, because we're going to move this unit around the side here. So we're just completely going around that guy. Uh, and as you can see, though, we're going to have to start moving other units up this way. Luckily, we've got this division that can come up here and kind of head this off a little bit. We're going to bring all of 6th Army north this time a little bit, and we're going to use the infantry uh, from... 1st Panzer and the 17th Army to clear out this pocket to the best of our abilities. Uh, let's actually have him come here and let's have him let's have him do now this is interesting. We actually need can we put him in 6th Army? What's the it's 23 of 27 but he's only got four. Perfect. All right. So 51 core will put in 6th Army. So that they're getting the benefit of another layer of command. So he's now in 6th Army. Uh, great. Okay. Now let's give him some support units. And we'll sign those down. We'll do a heavy howitzer. We'll do another mixed artillery. We'll do a heavy cannon. Uh... Let's do a motorized army flak, and let's do a stug battalion. Gives them a little extra punch. We'll actually give them a Panzer Jaeger as well. Uh, we could do heavy werfer. Okay, let's do that. And now we'll lock him in with those units. So he's now got good support. And let's hit here. Now they're not gonna have many prep points uh, this time because we had to pull them down but hopefully they'll start to build all right and as you see we've got a 45 here and a 41 there well we don't want to mess with that okay so we're going to pull him up there now then um let's take these gosh darn i don't really want to move all of these but i, I think I'm, i've got really kind of no choice uh because these are very strong now, we are going to try to encircle them, but we got to get something out in front of them. Although these guys are all fairly well protected. They could push in here 
and threaten our panzers, but now our panzers have a direct line to supply out of Romania. Uh, and so maybe that's not as big. Um, uh, Spas asks, do you have to take every enemy hex behind your lines or do they automatically, they will automatically switch at some point. Uh, sometimes it takes a few turns though. Um, yeah. So they will, if there's a railway that I really want to start getting a repair on or something, I'll try to go take those. Um, some of them that are out in the middle of the swamp or whatever can stay Soviet hexes forever. Uh, they'll just sit out there and be Soviet, I guess, wh whatever it means for, you know, 10 square miles of land to be Soviet, uh, they will be Soviet, uh, like out in here, if you don't take the hexes in the marshes. Uh, but generally like ones like this would eventually turn. Um, but I would kind of like it to do it sooner rather than later since this major railway comes through here and I believe that the headquarters will start getting construction units out here on that railway and we could start pulling you know supply down to 6th Army from Brest and all the way back to you know Warsaw and then to Germany itself um, so I'd like that to happen sooner rather than later okay um, we've got some choices to make here because ultimately You know, I want 6th Army to move north, but we've got to clear all of this this turn. You don't want them to escape now that we've pocketed them, and so you don't want to give them an out. I will say the Soviets are playing much more aggressively, the AI is, than it usually does. They've ran up here, which makes it more difficult, but it also gives you more opportunities to encircle. Uh, and so we're just going to be swinging 1st Panzer back and forth, back and forth, trying to do encirclements wherever we can. Uh, I think it's these guys that I really need to move up here and close all of this off. And so I'm going to take the one that's furthest down here. Um, let's go ahead and give this uh, 44 core some support. And you can see I'm really trying to put him down here with 6th Army, and I'll be doing the same with 17th Army because this is where a lot of the action is right now. Heavy cannon, um, mixed artillery, uh, gun battalion. You don't want to use them all up down here, but you there's no reason not to have sufficient because you've got a lot. Uh, let's do a mixed flak in here in case they want that. We'll do a stug battalion with him as well. And we'll also give him a heavy werfer. Those are rockets for people that aren't familiar. Werfers, rocket battalions. Um, okay, so this guy, I'm going to have to do a real haste, quick hasty attack and just try to knock this guy out. Okay, so he knocked him back into the pocket. That's fine. And now we're going to have him move up here and kind of block off these other Soviet units uh, and get this all shifted to the north for 6th Army anyway. They helped us build the pocket. Now we're going to shift him north. Um, let's do a hasty attack there and see what we get. Okay, we did get a lot of support units, but they held. Uh, do I have enough to do another? I think I do. I only really need him to get, like, here. So let's go ahead and hit that again. I feel like maybe... Nope. Well, we lost that battle by quite a bit. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, let's do a hasty attack from this side. For some okay, and that knocked him back. That's what we wanted. Now I can move him forward. We're starting to build this line across here. Uh, I can move him forward. He's still got enough for a deliberate attack, which he'll do there. It looks like we've won this battle because they're retreating. It says we captured. Nope, they held. Now it says we captured the depot, so that's kind of weird. Uh, okay. Well, that's it. That's his movement points for this time. None, nothing else we can do there. This guy, I'm going to move up to here on the rail line. Okay. He can move a little further, but I'm not sure if that even matters that much. Uh, yeah, I guess we just keep moving him east. Um, 
this headquarters will move up to here. That's all fine. Now then, we've got this whole, we've got a bunch of these Panzer uh, infantry that we'll probably eventually put over into an army, but that's fine. Uh, we've got this 75th. These guys, these parts of 6th Army are going to be moving across here, uh, but I would like, okay, first of all, let's go to the headquarters, not that one, this one, and it's uh, 55th Corps, 55 Corps. Let's give him support units, and so we'll do heavy howitzer, uh, we'll give him two. We'll give him a mixed artillery, if I can find another one down here that's in decent shape. We'll give him a gun battalion. What's this super heavy howitzer? That sounds impressive. Uh, just, just Army light flak. Motorized might light. Okay, let's do motorized. We'll do two mixed flaks for him. Uh, we'll give him a stug battalion as well. Um, and we'll do the heavy, well, that's self-propelled. I would like to put that with the Panzers. So uh, let's do that. We'll lock him in. Now, if we ever need more, we can still go get more. So uh, there's really, you know, with them locked, they're not going to move back up the chain now. Uh, we'll see. Okay, um, we'll see what we do. I'm kind of adapting on the fly here. Now, we do have a hole right here eventually in our line, but I, I'm going to go try to not... Well, hopefully we'll take all of this out first. So let's have this unit actually turn around and try to knock these guys out. They're sort of... Certain, oh, gosh, darn it. Now, we won the battle, but it's, again, a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, let's have him... I almost could keep him here. Let's have him do a hasty attack there. Okay, so we hit this armored unit, took out 25 tanks, 235 men, got decent odds. So he's doing some business down here. Let's have him take out this security force. That's 9,000 men that just surrendered. Now, what has he got left? Oh, he's only got five. I was hoping he'd have six uh, because I kind of wanted him to turn around and do an actual um, deliberate attack here. Hmm. Okay. Well, now that that's happened, I'm going to actually move him over here and continue to build our wall with him. Now then, let's go to the next, and this is the 99th Light Division. We'll get off of 44th ID there. And this guy, where do we want him to go? Uh, let's have him go right here or there or there or there. So many options. Um, I really don't want to have to bring something from 17th up here to take him out, but I think I'm going to have to. So I'm going to bring him here to begin with. Um, let's, he's in command. He's not very strong. He's only a five. Uh, let's have he's only got three command prep points too um can he hit anything no okay let's have him we'll do a deliberate attack here i don't think that's going to be good for us and it wasn't uh i guess you know nominally we won that battle but not really uh all right that's fine he's gonna sit there now he's got two more people in his core here here's the 168th id they can move because we've got um, these guys kind of stacked up. As a matter of fact, do I move this one here? Eh, I'm going to keep it double stacked right there. Uh, this guy, where can he go? Well, let's bring him right through here or here. Let's put him right there. Um, he's now out of command, so let's move his headquarters down. We're going to move... 55 core that's his headquarters we'll put it right there for now now i'd really like to get rid of this unit i don't often attack something that's an 11 this early in the game um do i do that or not 
kind of, maybe these guys should switch places. Yeah, let's actually do that. Okay, now then, so get off the 99th light and bring him back up here. And I still have enough to do a deliberate attack there. Good. Okay, now we've knocked them back. I wanted to get some of this cleared up. And that's really what I'm trying to do. Now we have one more thing that's in 55 core or 55th core, if you prefer. Um, he is going to come back here and hold the line kind of behind here. I'm going to try to knock out all of these units with him uh, with hasty attacks. Okay, they retreated and surrendered. That's 9,000 men. We're going to hasty there they both retreated back and we've knocked them pretty hard and so 17th army should be able to clean them up um i am eventually going to have to get rid of this and we're going to have to figure out how because he's sitting right on the rail line here uh and i think the best way to do it is do it with this infantry unit with a deliberate attack now i hate to use up that many movement points but i don't think i really have a choice um now, usually I would move 17th Army first. Maybe I can bring this unit up and do it. Do I do that? Maybe that's what I do. I could set him there, but let's put him here. They have enough coverage. I'd really like my Panzer Infantry to be able to move more. Okay, so let's give this guy a uh, 52 core. Let's give him more support units. Uh, we're going to do heavy howitzers. SFH heavy howitzer, self-propelled uh, heavy cannon. We'll give him a gun battalion. We'll give him a, how a straight up howitzer battalion. That all looks good. Panzer Jaegers, we'll save that for the uh, Panzers. Let's give him uh, a couple of mixed flax. Those are always good. We'll give him a Stug Battalion to help bust through things. We'll give him some rockets. The rockets, red glare. Uh, okay, and we'll lock it. Now then, let's do a deliberate attack here and hope we blow the crud out of these guys. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. But that's why I did that first. Uh, we can do another deliberate attack with him. Let's do a second one and see if we do any better. Nope. Wow. Now, for a unit that's isolated, they're really fighting hard. I'll give them that. My goodness. Um, hey, Ulster Andy. Hello, Northern Ireland. Good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, Scooter, I can't wait till you can download it. That's great. Uh, it's exciting. It's, you know, I love that. You know, you're watching it download 71%, 72%. You're like, come on, let's go. Uh, okay, do I dare move another unit? Okay, this is a strong one. 257. Um, let's just try to knock this out of here. Actually, with its compatriot here. Uh, let's do that. Okay, they retreated. Excellent. Okay. Now, the stronger unit I'm going to take up here in just a moment. Uh, but let's move this guy forward. Let's see if he can take them out, too. Yeah, surrendered. Okay, 8,500 men. Now then, now then. You've got nowhere to go, buddy. You may as well surrender. Uh, let's do a deliberate attack. He got some howitzers. He got the stug in there. Yeah, there we go. Retreated and surrendered. Well, that was 18,000 men. That's why we were having a little bit of a problem <laughs> moving them. Uh, okay. Look out. Uh, let's keep moving these guys. Let's try to take out what we can. Uh, retreated. That's 1280. Uh, this guy can move forward. It's going to have to come down to this Panzer Infantry. I'm going to hit him again with a hasty I mean, talk about truly isolated now. He literally just doesn't have anywhere to go. So they should, they should surrender. Uh, but we'll see. Um, okay, so he's in charge of both of these guys. Who else does he have? Oh, he's got a lot more. Okay, these units here are also under his command. So who are you commanding? Uh, he's commanding ones more to 
the south. All right, we'll, we'll switch places here. Uh, let's have this go up here, that headquarters. He can't move anymore, um, but who else do we have? This guy, all right. Uh, this one's the more powerful unit and has more... Oh, but he's part of that group. Whoops, okay, it's this guy I really wanted to move. Uh, but I can't undo that now. That's fine. Um, okay, that is 52 core. So that's who we're looking for. Okay, I'm on him. 101st Light Division. Can he take these guys out with the hasty? Let's see. Retreated, retreated. All right. Cleaning up the pocket. Well, keep moving down this rail line. Okay, he's got nothing left. Uh, now then, he does have this unit back here that's still part of 52 core that could move here, could move here. It has the most movement points here, but I think I want to bring him here, and hopefully he can take care of all of this uh, with a couple of hasty attacks. Let's see. No, a little stronger than we thought. We actually lost that battle. Okay. Uh, we'll hit here, knock him back. All right, so they've moved as much as they can. This guy, we're moving a little further to the south. Let's see what we have here, 11 of 7. I don't think we gave four core support units yet, so let's uh, do that. No to the Flamin Ponzers. I don't care if you are a pyromaniac. We're not going to do that yet. SFH. Oh, uh, whoops, heavy cannon, uh, howitzer, gun battalion. Well, this is going to be easier when it comes to the support units. They'll all be down at this level now. Let's do a couple of mixed flak. Let's do another stug battalion. Uh, let's do a heavy werfer. We'll give him one of the werfers. Okay, and now we'll lock that by hitting the zero. Glad, glad that was finally figured out, guys, and thank you for who had read it forward in the rule book and figured that out. Um, let's tr do I want to do that? Uh, not really. Actually, I want to get rid of this unit. So let's do a deliberate attack, and off he goes. Uh, lost 3,000 men. Do I have enough to do a hasty? Come on! No, I don't. Too bad. Okay, uh, we'll bring this one. Let's just do a hasty attack there. Okay, they retreated. The headquarters hasn't moved, so they are getting support units. Do I go here and try to, like, clean all of these guys out? Maybe. Ah, oh, yeah, let's do it. All right, try to hit there. That's a retreat. That's fine. We still have more units to move over here. Um, I really need to get rid of these, though. I've still got these two powerful units up there. So, all right. Uh, that's captured. He just retreated again. All right. All right. Oh, I can't attack up there. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. For some reason, that combat report just took forever. They surrendered. That's 6,000. Now then, can I... I can go into this little town. I'm going to have one movement point either way. Uh, okay. Nothing Nothing else doing there. Uh, is this... Let's look at the terrain here. All right. So this is light woods. I was checking to see if it's mountain, because I would just bring the mountain units up to take care of that if it was mountainous, but it's it's light woods. So that just retreated back over here. Okay. Now we're going to get him moving forward and try to take out these two units. Oh, there's another one there. All right. We don't have any detection level on that. I would love to know what that is. They retreated again. So, you know, they're, they're, they're hanging in there. Uh, now let's have you hit him. I probably should, okay, he surrendered. Uh, I maybe should have done a deliberate attack on one of these, but that's fine. Let's find out what this is. 
it held. We actually lost 300 men for that little excursion. All right, we got nothing left with those guys. Uh, let's move the headquarters forward just a little bit. Now, this mountain unit is in with him. Oh, they both are. He's com only commanding six of nine. Okay, so he's got these three units. Got it. And then this guy needs to come down here a little bit because he's commanding these units. He's got ten of nine. We should probably put one of them in with the Mountain Corps, but it's fine. Uh, right. Okay, let's get this. Oh, he's got to go all the way around. Well, let's do it this way then. Um, he should get support unit. No, he doesn't because that headquarters moved. That's fine. Um, I'll save any. If we need to do a deliberate attack, I'll do it with this guy. Uh, we're knocking him back this way. We really need to clear this out, but we may have to do it with our uh, Panzer infantry. All right. Getting them knocked back. They're totally isolated. They have nowhere to go. But it may take us another turn to completely clear that out. I don't have anything left there. But I do have this guy. And he can get here and hopefully do some damage to these units. They should be right on the verge. Now, this is across the river, though. So, ah, surrendered. That's what I'm looking for. 8,800 men, so that's good. The less we can use our Panzer infantry, the better. All right. Paulson says, why no to the Flamen Panzer? Will they really use best in urban areas? Uh, you know, it's a fire-breathing tank. Uh, if you think about it, I mean, that's not of much use out in clear, open terrain. Um, I guess if there's infantry trying to run up on the tank, you can, you know, turn the tank and, you know, do that. But they're really used to clear out cities. Uh, so abandoned buildings or whatever, you bring the Flamen Panzer up there and... Uh, that God, that sounds like a horrific way to die. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, by the way, if you guys are... Slytherin fans or Matrix fans or there's a game that you've been looking around. I saw that they're doing their Easter sale now. And so if you type in, I think it's Easter sale 30, you get like a 30% discount on any Matrix game. So if you've been waiting to buy something or you wanted to buy something or it's not on new games. So this game does not have a 30% discount right now. Uh, it'll probably be a while, but any of the older games like War in the West or War in the Pacific, because War in the Pacific runs what, like 80 bucks? So, I mean, it'll save you like 24 bucks, I guess, if you really want it. Um, Robert McCoy, hello, how are you? Castanar is here. Haven't seen you for a bit, Castanar. How are you? Good to see you. Um, okay, let's keep moving these units here. I really would like to play all of this turn out and resolve the turn. So let's, let's get moving. We got things to do for that to happen. Uh, let's get out here in the mountains. Now, they would be attacking down out of the mountains. This is not a mountain hex, right? No, it's heavy woods. These mountain units are, are like supermen out here in the actual mountains, but there's just not a whole lot there uh, to, for them to fight. Um, let's give him this motorized core. Let's give him a few support units and lock it. Let's do um, a mixed artillery. If we can find one that's at full TOE. Can I find one that's at full TOE? Yeah, there we go. There's mixed artillery. Again, mixed artillery also gives you anti-tank, if you're ever wondering why I'm looking for that, uh, because it's got 88 millimeter guns in it. Um, uh, so does mixed flak. Mix, is that, wait a minute, no. It's mixed flak that I'm talking about. It's got the 88 millimeters. We'll have to go look at mixed artillery if that means the same thing, uh, that it's got 88 millimeters in there. Uh, we'll, we'll go check that out. Uh, what the hell is a stug battery? That sounds fun. Let's put one of those in there. Um, Werfers, sure. We'll give them some rockets. 
and maybe we'll give him the machine guns. I don't know why I picked mountain units to have machine guns, but it just seems like up in the mountains, maybe having a machine gun would be helpful. Is that true? I have no idea. Uh, oh, good, okay. He retreated right out, although he headed towards our headquarters, so now we really got to get rid of him. Um, I'll do another deliberate attack. He should surrender, and he does. That was 8,000 men, 77 guns. So we're not going to be moving much this time with these guys. Uh, but let's have him keep moving down these mountain paths and see if he can find anything else to deal with. Uh, we'll just move him forward one, and we'll do a hasty there. Maybe that, nah, he retreated. All right. We'll have to have the Hungarians take care of that, the mad Hungarians. Um, these guys are all used up. Everybody's in command here. Now, they may build a depot here. Um, I think we keep the main headquarters in Lvov. If we look at our uh, logistics situation, we've got Lvov, or the game has Lvov set at a priority four. Uh, it's got big capacity. It's got 60,000 in capacity. That's the biggest capacity you can have uh, that I've seen in the game so far. And so if you're running at 60 capacity, it's usually because you have a lot of rail yards coming in here and you've got a headquarters sitting right on top of it. Oh, hey, we've got uh, Slovaks ready to roll. Let's get the Slovaks out here. Uh, right, okay. Let's get them moving. I guess I could have brought them up here and cleared a few things. Not really, though. So it's not, it's not like we lost anything there. Uh, let's get them all coming up here, though. They do have these motorized units. Sometimes, well, I use them as, like, scouts for the German motorized. That's usually how I used, uh, like, Slovakian. Uh, in this case, though, I think we're going to be able to use them to do an encirclement. Hold on. Let's get up here. Now, what's he attached to? Oh. He's attached to 52 core. Now that seems odd. We will want him attached to the Panzers at some point. And I'll probably switch him over right now. Um, he's, the Slovaks are attached to 52nd Army. Or 50, 17th Army, I'm sorry. 17th Army. I still have this division back here. Do I have any more uh, Hungarians I can move? Or Slovaks. Uh, doesn't look like it. We'll go back and look, but I, it doesn't look like it. His headquarters, okay, he's got them. They're already moving. That's his overall, oh, Carpathian Hungarian headquarters. Okay, Carpathian Mountains makes sense. We do have this unit back here that's like a free agent. Two of them, two divisions that are just sitting here. We can bring them up. Matter of fact, why don't we bring this guy up here and try to take care of this unit with him. Seems like a good way to use him. We are going to start moving around some of these uh, commands at some point here too. Um, let's just put him there for now. All right, we'll put the headquarters up in this town, or maybe here, here. How about there? All right, he's directly attached to Army Group South. Um, we don't have any command points available uh, in our two armies down here. We finally surrendered, 5,600 men. Okay, so now we finally cleared that part of the pocket at least. Thank goodness, my gosh. Uh, that was a lot of work. Um, okay, we're going to leave them connected to Army Group South for now. 52 core, okay, that all looks good. Um, that's fine. This unit, okay, let's go out and look at our headquarters for our Panzers. Uh, this guy's only got 4 of 12. This is, uh, Fredder Pico. He's all right. He's not terrible by any means. Seven, six, seven, and a seven. Actually, he's a little better than 
uh, not terrible. He's actually quite good. Um, so that's 48 motorized. All right, we're going to put the slow box into 48th motorized. I'll do that down here. There it is. 48th motorized. All right, he's in there now. Now, he'll keep his Slovak insignia, you know, on the counter. You can tell he's Slovak. But I like to use these, uh, you know, the Axis as allies. Their motorized unit, whether they be Slovak, Hungarian, or Romanian, to scout out in advance. And so we'll eventually get him moving out that way. Uh, I say eventually. Well, I'm going to do it right now. But I, I don't know exactly where I want him yet. So I'm going to wait. Um... Okay, I'm going to move his headquarters up there. The security, I can put in kind of anywhere. Um, I don't know. Does it really matter where I put the security units? Not really. Not right now. I will bring this security unit around just to kind of guard against this doing something weird. Uh, we'll bring this guy here uh, and do an attack and see. Okay, only scouted. This Hungarian Corps, it's a mountain brigade. Um, yeah, he can hit him again. Let's try it again. Why not? That, that time, 110 to 0. They didn't lose a thing. Uh, so we'll, we'll stop that for now. Let's put this other security force... Shit, I don't know. Here? Here? Yeah, I'll put him right there. All right. Slovaks, they can't really move any further. Not to the east, anyway. I guess he could. All right, let's move him up one. That all looks fine. Um, let's make sure we don't have anything. Okay, that's Army Group South and Luftflotte 4. Oh, look at this guy. What's he doing back here? Who's he attached to? Directly to 17th Army. All right. Um... What's your command situation? Not good. 10 of 9. This guy is 8 of 9. Hmm. Uh, what's their core headquarters? He's here. Oh, yeah, this is the Mountain Corps. All right, we'll put him in here. 44th. So you're going into the 44th Mountain Corps. It's always better to have him with a core headquarters no matter what it is, even if you're kind of like, well, he's not a mountain unit. Well, that's fine. It doesn't really matter what they call it. It's all the same uh, for command purposes. That can't move. That can't move. Okay, I think we've moved all of 6th Army and now all of 17th Army. Just making absolutely sure. That's 17th Army headquarters. We can go ahead and put the security command up here. Sure, why not? Um, actually, you know what? I want it down here. Let's put that security command down here because it's a higher command. Okay, that's triple stacked, so we can't do that. Let's get the uh, security unit itself out of here. There, and we'll put the command down there because it's only these higher commands that seem to. Well, I say that there now it popped all the way up. Uh, they could they affect the logistics more than the smaller commands. And sometimes I've noticed the core headquarters don't do anything for the capacity. So, uh, <laughs> P. Warner, that's right. This is like, uh, you know, the that's like Alabama playing uh, some directional university every week, right? Yeah, Robert, yeah, 30% off. Uh, if you look, it's right on Matrix, Matrix's front page. It's their Easter sale. I think it's Easter Easter sale 30 or Easter 30 is the code or something like that. You get 30% off. Uh, might as well. Might as well. Especially for that war in the Pacific. Uh, that's really something, uh, you know, a 20-year-old game almost at this point uh, for 79.99 it kind of makes me laugh it's worth that i mean that game is worth that amount of money but it's just kind of funny to me uh okay we're gonna move him up uh this security unit we just moved we can kind of i don't know we can put him in a town maybe we'll wait and see how much of this we vacate and we can use him to hold something back 
I, he says, we'll wait, and then moves him. Okay, we're going to move him right there. I think we've got all of that ringed appropriately at this point. Uh, right. Okay, let's do railroad while I'm sitting here staring at it. And let's get the railroad moving down here. He's going to repair there. We're going to keep him on this major railway as long as we can. As long as it makes sense. And have it coming out of, you know, these major air, major depots. Seven. Why won't he go there? He can't go there? He's got seven movement points left. Why won't he show me any movement? Uh... Does he have not have anything left to repair? No, he needs to repair there. Am I too close to... No, I'm not too close to something. All right, we'll come back and deal with that in a moment. I'm not sure why he's not moving one more. Uh, we'll just have to see. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, um, now then. We've got panzer divisions to move. We're going to move around this unit. Don't want to worry about that. And we're going to bring him this way. Here. That's two hexes. All right. He's going to come right around here. And is he in command? He is not in command. Where's these other guys? Okay. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I had this on something that's not allowing me. Oh, I'm in move mode. Oh, that headquarters got nothing left. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. We're going to have to get everything out of that headquarters then. Um, we could hit here and try to drive this way, or we can keep going around here, which is really what I think I want to do. All right, so I'm going to let him sit there for a moment. This unit now got freed up, and he can come back down here to here, maybe, or to here. Let's have him get behind these guys. Now, he's also part of this core headquarters that has no movement points, so we got to keep that in mind. They surrendered. That's 10,000 men and 230 tanks. Wow. Uh, now then. In there? No. Okay, we're going to move him up there. Right. Now, this infantry division, we're going to move... Ooh, I really want to put him right there. Once I move all of these things, you'll see the wall I've constructed. It's essentially every other hex. Let's um, get rid of these guys, if we can. They all surrendered. 17,000 men, 209 tanks, 138 guns. Woo, doggy. All right. I would have liked to got him, get him, like to have got him there. No, that's not how you talk. Uh, Instead, we'll bring this Slovakian unit that I held back. We'll bring him down here. Um, okay. Excellent. Now, we have these Panzers. We have motorized units. We're going to take our motorized units and we're going to blow through right here, if we can. If we can. Now, I've got this set up for every other hex, for the most part. Uh, he could attack there. Do I want him to do that? I don't think so. Um, let's start moving this motorized out here as a scouting party and see what we find. Actually, maybe this Romanian one would do that. Okay, let's move this Romanian unit first and start coming. Okay, I was afraid of that, that there actually were more forces out here we couldn't see. And indeed, there are. And more. And we don't know how strong they are. I would like to come right through here. It looks, it seems perfect for this, but we've got Panzer there. We've got motorized. Oh, here's another motorized unit. Now he's directly attached back there, but we know that um, the one motorized core, well, all of them are kind of okay. Who is this? Uh, Von Mackensen is excellent. We replaced uh, dipshit here that lost 25 tanks. He's gone. If you missed that episode, I went nuts on him. Uh, we're not sure where he is. 
Uh, high Command was very upset with losing those 25 tanks. Um, Just making sure I don't have anything to move back here. I don't think I do. So I could put him in with Von Mack. And so what I'm talking about is this unit here. It's motorized, but it's directly connected to Army Group South. There's no reason for that. It can move up here. It could be part of 14th motorized under Nairing. He is the new general of 14th. He's only got four of 12. So let's put them in 14th. All right. For now. Again, since it doesn't cost anymore, you might as well shuffle these around to your heart's content. Okay, let's have him be the one that comes around this way and figures out what the heck's out here. Oh, nice, okay. So we can get through here. We're gonna start building a corridor. Um, and if we back up for a second and you look at the situation, if we drive a corridor through here, we could go north and do an encirclement, or we can do south, go south and do an encirclement. It keeps us kind of both options open. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. But let's hit that unit. I don't... Oh, we did get decent odds on that. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, he only retreated, but he should be easier to knock out of there now. Uh, so that's 14th motorized. Who else is in 14th? Uh, the Viking motorized here is part of 14th. So let's get him moving this way. And then we'll have to get the headquarters down here somewhere. All right. So we're starting to see where all of the uh, resistance is. He's only five away. And 14th has not gotten any support units yet. yet. So let's do that. Um... These, from the best I can tell, all of these are artillery are motorized. And so that's helpful. I don't know if that was actually true. I feel like a lot of their artillery had to be pulled by horses, but I, I don't know. Um, maybe we'll put in a Panzer Jaeger with him. Um, mix flak, mix flak. We'll give him two of these. Okay, uh, Stugs, I'm saving for infantry, but what else? I guess I'll give him a Werfer. That's fine. Okay, so now 14th will lock. Let's make sure. I just want to make sure all of these are actually motorized. Yep, I'm glad I looked. Uh, the heavy howitzer is not. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, motorized. Okay, so the heavy howitzers we can't put in with the panzers. Uh, did not know that. Okay, probably should have gone and looked. That's motorized. Mixed motorized is motorized. Imagine that. Motorized mixed is good. Pioneer and Werfer. Motorized. Okay, we'll have to take the heavy. So this SFH heavy howitzer is not motorized. Good to know. Um, okay. He's going to get support units for that attack, and that routed them out. You can see the support units did come in. Uh, 471. Now then, I don't know what that is, and I'm not sure I want to know what it is. No, that's not true. Um, he can't. Go, he can go there. Then could he go there? Or do I want him to come down here? Let's go have him go here. Wow. There are a lot more Soviet units than we thought. They're really making this a little more difficult than usual. Uh, I like it. Okay, I'm going to leave them right there for now. We're going to save those. Now, is anybody else in the 14 motorized? Are you in the 14 motorized? Are you in the 14 motorized? Oh, he's directly attached. Why don't we put him in the 14 motorized as well? All right, so we've got our two SS units here, and as you can see, we could actually do an encirclement on these guys if we wanted to. Okay, he can get out here. Wow! The Soviets are stacking them much better. This AI is better, I'm telling you right now. They've improved the AI. I really like this. Uh... 
right. Okay. Okay. The headquarters still hasn't moved. Uh, there he retreated. We'll just do some hasty explorer. To oh, okay. That didn't look good. We now they lost 300 men. We lost 171, but uh, we'll hit there again. Then. See what happens. Nope. Uh, not a good idea. All right. All right. Game on. This thing's uh, not making it easy for breakthroughs. Yeah, that's true. Historically, there were always more Soviet units than than we thought. Uh, that's a good point, P. Warner. Um, let's head into this town and just see what we find out. They're probably just going to scout it, but yeah, uh, that's because we have a good general. All right. Now then. I'm wondering if I should have blasted through right here. I can see four to just fortified units here. Uh huh. Nah, let's keep going. I also see a little bit of a gap here. Maybe I should come right up in there. Uh, let's see. You are the 14th Motorized Corps headquarters. Your units are there, there, there. All right, let's put you on that infantry unit so everybody's in command. Although there is one other... Fourteenth motorized. Oh, okay. This is also in fourteenth motorized, but we'll take it out and we'll put this in fourteenth motorized. Um, that way I've got all of my true motorized type units. Should we go right there? See what we see? Find out what we find out? I could get all the way there, but I think I'm going to go right here. Um, and then go back and attack that security unit. Ooh, shoot. That's a bad result for us. I feel like we missed a roll. Um, I need him out of here. So let's do a... Uh, there we go. Now we route it. I feel like we missed a command roll there. Hmm. Now what, he asks. I could attack down into here, but they're going to be isolated now. We've got them completely surrounded. He's in command. They're all in command. They're making this more difficult. That's great. What is this little town? What is this? Oh, this is Tarnapal. Actually, I'll put 4th Panzer right in Tarnapal, and they'll probably build a depot there. Um, he's part of 3rd Motorized, this Panzer. All right, it's time to start moving the Panzers. 3rd Motorized is down here. Now, he can get loose up here, maybe. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, what I want to do then... Oh, gosh, he just can't move at all. He can't get across this river. These are all Soviet. Uh, they've got zone of con some zone of control there. And so we, we're having a hard time moving through. Um, where are your other panzers? There they are. I still have this one motorized unit. Let's move him first, and let's have him come up here and knock out this fortified unit so we don't lose any tanks doing that. All right, surrendered. He's out. Now I think we have our breakthrough, and I think we have it built properly. Uh, he's going to come up here. He's going to come there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is going to kind of turn into like a double envelopment or something. Um, he's part of 48th. Who else is part of 48th? Not you. Let's try 48th again. Okay, so he's now commanding this guy and this guy. Uh, okay, we're not going to worry about the Slovaks. Uh, sorry, Slovaks. That's not personal. 
but it doesn't make sense to you know sit here and try to supply this guy he's going to get it out of Romania anyway um now then I'm going to try to make these Romanian forces try to link up here it's a part of 11th army it's some Romanians they do have you know like this armored unit we're going to try to do a, an envelopment here and one up here he says confidently um he's part of 14th all right 14th is right there we may have to change that at some point let's get him out here to disrupt this routed unit excellent uh can we get across maybe not but we can go up here and into that town excellent all right uh we're gonna have to change command on him he could this guy could attack. i keep thinking should i attack there or should i not attack there i don't know uh 48th 14th okay where's 48th 48th is here all right what else is in 48th that you know, okay i already knew that uh and he's only got four of 12 so we'll move some of these other panzers into 48th at least momentarily now let's get this panzer group rolling up here and we can get around behind or we could go like right there as we're going to build this super highway the autobahn through the ukraine uh there's that now, hell, even this guy could get around and try to start thinking of encircling things, but let's not be that bold. He can go all the way up here. Um, here? Maybe that's the best place for him, but I'm actually going to put him right here. All right, that's part of thir three motorized, three motorized, three motorized. All right. We'll have to find that headquarters here in a minute and we just did that is under the command of von mackinson um right okay so there's 14th panzer division he could get around a lot of things he could even make an encirclement here if he wanted to um we've already dis disrupted this rail line they can't get out there i guess i'm going to leave him like right there does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I guess that looks good. Okay, uh, let's bring third motorized or three motorized up this way. Oh, he can only, he can't get through there. That's right. Uh, okay, that starts to present a problem. Uh, because he cannot go next to Soviet hexes. So we're going to have to blow something wider open here. Um, this is the most obvious place to move him back. But that opens this up a little bit too much for my liking. Do we have another panzer group? Oh, by the way, can he move now? He cannot. Um, interesting. Okay. Um, all right, we got to try to do this attack, I think, and then we're going to have to do something else to get the headquarters up there. So he can do, can he do a deliberate? He cannot do a deliberate. Shoot. All right. Well, we're just going to do that. Nope. He was scouted. Uh, we only, we lost 84 men for that little adventure. Oh, another way we could do this is maybe that way. Eh, we'll figure it out here in a minute. 48. Okay, so now we've moved all of 1st Panzer, all of 6th Army, all of 17th Army for the most part. We still have some other things that have movement points left that we'll use. Actually, could come right here or here and blow these guys out. That also would allow him to stack with that unit, I believe. 
Okay, this is a very... Let's hope we don't lose too much. Uh, five, ten tanks, but he did retreat out. That gets our headquarters up here, which is really what I was trying to accomplish. Oh, shit. We also got to get this guy out of here. Um, right. Let's move the headquarters up. We can't move that headquarters, Chris. Okay. Let's uh, try to get him to retreat. That didn't work. We're just going to keep hitting him until he retreats. We need that hex. Because I got to get the... I want to get the uh, command up there. He can't do anymore. We're going to have to do this with something else. Something from down here, probably. Maybe even like this armored unit. He can get up there. Uh, something like that. Okay. With that, I'm going to call this the end of this episode. I don't want it to be longer than an hour and 20 minutes. I'm going to give it... Uh, 20 or 30 minutes here. I'm probably going to work on the Air War Part 2 uh, for a little bit. When I come back, we are going to keep playing War in the East 2. I want to finish this Southern Front, and I want to turn the turnover, okay? Before I start jumping into that Battle Sector game, uh, the Warhammer game, I want to finish this turn. So, give me like 20, 25 minutes. What time is it? Uh, it's 1.22. Uh, so at 2 o'clock, I will be back. So I guess that's 38 minutes. Uh, new math. Actually, I'm going to call it 1.45 my time. That's 23 minutes if you're that exact. Uh, thank you guys so much for dropping by. This was uh, the biggest crowd I think that we've had. Uh, these live streams are a heck of a lot of fun. And uh, man, the AI is better. The AI is better in 2. I'm telling you right now. It never used to put up this kind of... Uh, moving fight it's very hard here to get my panzers through we're gonna have to clear a hex that i didn't think we we're gonna have to we may end up having to link up uh from down here in the south up here to get our headquarters all the way around we'll see uh but that's making it a little more fun all right guys i'll see you in uh, like 20 minutes have a good one strategy gaming dojo i'll talk to you next time